doing an unboxing of Christy Wright's Business Boutique 2019 Goal Planner. Now, I think this is the perfect balance between doing a little bit of coaching each month as well as just a traditional planner. So I wouldn't call it a workbook. I would call it sort of a good mix of the two. So let's check it out. I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous, and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday, and I do unboxings like today on Saturdays. Now, this planner was $49.95 or $99, I believe, and it was $99, $49.99, and it comes without free shipping. So you do have to pay for your own shipping and handling. It does arrive in this nifty little branded box. So these were very cute and I'll show you a close up in once we do the unboxing. Uh, but just a couple words, she does have a book of the same title that is, I guess, supposed to accompany this. But the book really talked much more about how to open up a business if you're a mom uh, with kids. And that just doesn't, obviously I'm single, I have no kids, I'm never married. So that's just not something that resonated with me. Um, and I don't have any of those similar situations where I really need that kind of advice. So, you know, if that is you, I think that might be a good book or reference. Um, but I really like this planner. So let's just go ahead and open it up and talk about what's inside and how you can start incorporating a lot of the great uh, attributes and details that Christy put into this planner into your own planner. So this came shrink wrapped. You can see on the back, it's a little advertisement. In theory, if you saw this in a retail store. Let's take off the plastic wrap and it opens from the top like a box of chocolates. And we have an O coil binding. Now these are, this is massively, massively wide. I'm gonna say this is at least a two, two and a half inch coil. Um, and then you have your standard chipboard and little metal protectors here on the side. Now, I don't know if you can see this. This is kind of curved just because the pages in here are so massive because they're trying to fit the whole year. And I'm guessing they're dailies, but let's check this out. Um, so you have a little pocket folder over here. Um, I guess they're kind of useful. I feel like you really can't put a lot of stuff in there, but it is better to have a pocket folder than none at all. And a note uh, to you from Christy Wright some directions on how to use this planner and then a let's go right and she jumps right into 2019. So we start with a quote from Christy Wright and it looks like, yep, the only quotes you get in here are Christy Wright quotes. Um, so it looks like it's divided into the entire year and over here for January we have setting goals and I don't know if these are annual. No, they're, they must be monthly. Question number one. In the past, which do you tend to do more often? Make wishes or set goals? Do goals get you motivated and excited or they make you feel a little fearful and overwhelmed? Why? What's one area of your life that you'd like to focus on improving this year? Other thoughts and notes. So on paper, on purpose, example goal. And then she has kind of a mad libs fill in the blank. My goal is to blank by blank. I am doing this because blank success. I reached my goal on blank, blank date. So she has, she's assuming you're doing five goals for the month. Um, that's a lot of goals. Uh, and then you have a monthly over here, some areas to the right. Now this is interesting. This is a Bible quote. Uh, so you usually don't see that in a non-devotional or non-Christian uh, planner. Um, so that's just something. Uh, top three goals for this week. So you have five goals for the month, three goals every single week. And it looks like each day is divided up into, you can just add appointments and it goes Monday through Saturday, you know, Monday through Friday. And then she has a double column here for Saturday, Sunday, and then just some space here at the bottom to write your to do's. Um, things I'm doing this week for my business, my self care and my family. And again, more Christy Wright quotes and also a space for what you're grateful for. So we have this rinse and repeat, repeats each week. And then at the end of the month, you do a monthly review. And she says, whenever I coach someone one-on-one, -on -one, I always make sure we start each session by reviewing how things have been since we last talked. 
even though you're not sitting with you over coffee, let's do the same thing here and review last month before you dive into the next one. So overall, how was this month for you? And are there any feelings or themes that stand out to you? What is something you're really proud of from this past month? What is something you learned this month? What is one way you experienced God or grew your faith? Again, um, I don't think this was advertised as a faith-based planner. It's a goal planner, a business planner, nothing about God, Christianity, religion, um, devotionals, or anything like that. So were there any sp special events, surprises, exciting news? What is one thing that you want to remember about this month? And the word, again, another Bible passage. Um, so something to be aware of if, you know, Bible passages aren't really um, something for you. So uh, let's check this out. So this is going to be something different. So now she's talking about fears. Last month we talked about goals. Um, what does the voice of fear say to you? Okay, so she's picked a new theme for each month. I like that. I think that's good. Uh, and then she's going through different exercises for fear. And then we get right into the month, again, Bible passage. And now the weeks are exactly the same as January, which I suspect is the same thing for um, March, April, weeklies, exact same layout. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump to March. She talks about money in March. And she has three questions again, and then she has some exercises, kind of like a workbook, understanding your business expenses. And then she jumps right into the month and your weeklies. And then for April, she talks about motivation. And she has three questions again, and then ways to get, stay motivated, little sort of workbooks, that was really quick. Um, and again, same thing, rinse and repeat, Bible verses. May, she's talking about time management has three questions and then how to schedule your priorities and your action plan what did you learn and then we jump right into the month and over for june we have checking in on goals so we're back to goals again and it's a good mid-year check-in probably same exact thing uh fill in the blanks this time same thing five goals so same as January. And then in July, she's talking about marketing. And we're talking about uh, just marketing in general. And this is not a sale, I know what you're thinking, it's not a sales funnel. She's just talking about the no like trust and she put it in, in a funnel shape. Um, she has three questions again, and then she has the funnel shape. And then we jump to August, where we're talking about taking care of you, so self care. Three questions, 10 ways to take care of yourself, a place to put some ideas. Jumping over to se September, she has you getting ready for Christmas. I think that's a great idea to start getting ready for the end of the year. Stocking up, what sales are you going to run? Um, and then we're talking about the holidays. And so maybe this is actually more from a mom, a mom, this is like a mommy sort of thing. Like how are you going to do stuff and how are you going to run your business? So you know, uh, set your holiday goals, increase sales, campaigns. Oh, I'm wrong, it's not a mommy thing. Just kidding. Um, and then we jump right into September. Then we get into October and we talk about social media um, again. So another social media. So it looks like she's just focusing on organic traffic. Um, nothing in here yet about paid ads. Um, and then November, we're talking about serving through selling. And she is talking about how to be more confident, influence, share, and serve. Three questions again. And a sales script template. And then that's it. And then for December, uh, she talks about finishing strong. And this is probably a goals, yes. Year-end goal review. So we're going to talk about those same five goals. Or I don't know if we're setting new ones. Yeah, time to look on the back, back on the year. Revisit the goals you set, yeah. And that's it. So that is your whole book. There is no year end review at the end of December. I think the month of December was your year end review. And she just has the you did it.
Let's talk about what I think she did a great job at that I think you could replicate for your own business planner. And the first one is that she has a branded box and it's a box that opens up and it's pretty easy to send out. It's probably very inexpensive if you order these in bulk. And it also ensures that when your planner does arrive that these old coils don't get ruined because that's really the hardest part with uh, spiral bound planners. The other thing is this is a nice chipboard so it's nice and thick and sturdy and it kind of makes you feel like you had a good value for your money. Um, she has a cute little pocket here in the front and she has the corner protectors. I think those are all great. She has tab dividers that are separated with different colors by quarters and I think that was helpful. She didn't try to make them too small, uh, which sometimes I know in the Cultivate What Matters, the power sheets, they do just one row, so they're very tiny. Um, this has, uh, you know, larger tabs in it. Um, the other thing that was really nice is she tries to give a different theme each month but she still maintains a regular planner. So it's not really a hardcore workbook at all. So I like that each month has a different theme and just a couple pages. She doesn't try to inundate you with information and then you get your regular, you know, monthly at a glance and then you get your weekly pages. So I think she did a really excellent job with that and her color scheme overall is very neutral. I would say it's a very mom, suburban mom color. Uh, you know, I don't know that it is a masculine in color so I still don't know that men would probably want to pick this up but I think her audience and who she's targeting especially with her uh, the font for business boutique is very scripted and kind of girly looking I think she's trying to target women even though she doesn't specifically come out and say that at any time now the only thing that I would have done differently is if you have been on her social media platform and I've been following her for just a little bit not that much time there's really no mention of God or Jesus and there's nothing wrong with God or Jesus but there are a lot of biblical references in here and quotes from the Bible, and I was not expecting that at all. And there's nothing, again, like I said, if you ever follow Laura Casey from Cultivate What Matters, a perfect example. I know that Laura will probably put in a lot of biblical quotes. She'll talk about God, she'll talk about prayer. And I not only expect that, I think that's great because she has teed it up in my brain that that's what she's about and that's probably what I'm going to find in her products. Now for Christy, that was not the case at all. It seems to be very business-like. It does not seem to be faith-based. And so it was very off-putting to see those in this particular planner, especially for people who are looking for a hardcore business planner and looking for direction and that really wasn't a component that they wanted to add into their business planning. So I think huge miss on that. Uh, again, if you are going to incorporate anything like that, or you know, maybe I want to talk about dating all the time in my planner. I don't know, I'm just making this up. Or I want to talk about Fido and because I love dogs or cats and I want to talk about how you can incorporate activities with your dog every month or with your children, then I should have a platform that kind of teases that up and gets you in the mood and ready to receive that type of information and those tidbits inside of my planner. And I don't feel like her social media province or even the description of this product did a good job or any job at all, or even made any attempt to sort of let the user know that that's what would be in it. Now, this planner, I think she had a limited run. It is completely, it is out of stock. Uh, so it's out of stock on her website and is out of stock on Amazon. I believe she's going to refill them, but I believe she ordered these in bulk, I'm going to guess, and uh, they probably won't be in for a couple months. So anyways, uh, you know, if you want to order one, it may be a while, you're going to miss the first few months. And I don't believe she has a mid-year planner. So just something to keep in mind. Now, if you want to make a planner like this for your own, I think it's an excellent idea just to put a short sort of couple snippets in the beginning on a lesson or philosophy that you want to teach to help people with their business, jump right into the monthly, let people do their own schedule, and then move on to month number two. All or three or four, whatever, the next month. All right, I hope that was helpful. And if you are interested in making your own planner, make sure to sign up for Planner 101. That is free. Uh, and I will leave information in the description below. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous weekend and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.